welcome back to more Super Mario Sunshine. Last time we struggled through Bianca Hills, blue coins, lots of fun, and then did Cork that. And then did Corona Mountain, which was also a lot of fun. This time we were in episode 1 of Bianca Hills. And, um, there was a reason for this, because many of the things here, yeah, many of the things are actually level specific. And this is one area where there are level specific ones. Look at the official strategy guide, the old Nintendo Power. And it is the first one that is level specific because this is, I think, the only level that has this scoop here. So we want to clean this off and get a blue coin. Dodge all those poor fools and, um. And then. Apparently, let's see, I'm trying- I'm looking at the guide, because <laughs> I- I'm really not 100% sure where everything is. Okay, so for- so, what? Okay, same reasons. Uh, we want to come over here and ground pound. Not Flood, we know. <laughs> this is the end. We're already well through this game. Um, so again, because normally there isn't that coop there covering the M in the first place, we would need to actually do this in episode 1. So... Yeah, the absolute specific nature of these things in this game is part of the reason why I can see why people wouldn't really like it. Um, it'd be so much nicer if stuff wasn't episode specific. Uh, and most things aren't, but just a couple little things are, and it's annoying. And also the 100 coins is horrible here, by the way. Um, and sadly, the worst part is we can't even do it in the episode where we get the blue coins. The recommended episode has always been has always been episode three, but the rest of blue coins are most of the rest of the blue coins are in episode uh, eight. So yet again, we'll have to spend quite a long time. So those are the three blue coins that are only found in this episode. So we have to exit out or die, but we want to save lives. Literally, <laughs> we want to come to here. Um, For time purposes, I am not a hundred percent sure what we'll do after this. Um, if we could just, if we could just do the blue coins, because it'll take less time than the uh, hundred coins for sure. Um, get over the water. Nope, don't have to do that one yet. Eighteen. Okay. Um, I know where eighteen is now. So I just looked it up at a guy. It feels weird, it feels a little bit weird to like break it up like that, but just for time's sake, I think it would be a little bit more ideal time-wise just to save the uh, other blue coins for a later time, and then just get this last blue coin here, and then just save the rest for later. Um, was that even the one I was supposed to get? <laughs> uh, yep, that was the right one. Um, exit out, and... Next, we're just making kind of the relay through all of Greek Harbor at this rate, but next we're entering episode 3 because of the way I want to do this. I'm not feeling confident I'll be able to do this in 10 minutes. <laughs> um, hey, we can try. Okay, Shine Sprite. Again, depending on how... F I might actually just... Since we have to drop down there anyway, I might just try tricking it out to see if I can. Um, okay, box. Coin. Then we're in, again. We're gonna ignore the other blue coins just for a little bit. Um, okay. So you can also spray the fish or the bloopers, and sometimes they will drop blue coins. Again, only sometimes. This is another thing. Uh, it's, I don't know if this ship. This yeah. This ship isn't always here, and as you can see, there's like I don't know. One, two, three, four. There are eight coins on here and a blooper. So yeah, that's why it's kind of good to do in episode three because there's just more coins here. Uh, I think there are certain episodes in certain areas. I don't know which ones where there just aren't enough coins to even get the shine, <laughs> which is kind of trolling. Um, we're already a tenth of the way there. Big achievement. <laughs> um, actually, not really. Uh, it gets harder at the end because, 
while you're frankly running out of coins like the usual spots. You can kill these little spider things by jumping on them or hitting the opposite side of a crate or eating them with Yoshi. Or not, the like ground pounding is what I mean. But yeah, I think you can also get them with Yoshi. Um, you're going to yet again ignore that blue coin just a little bit. Um, little gusty things don't give you anything. I think you can get blue coins by shooting this wall. Or just shooting the wall, like regular coins by shooting the wall, but nothing seems to be appearing, so we're just going to move on. One up. Uh, save a water refill at least. Okay. So now we're going to go down to the sewer. Because <laughs> uh, there are plenty of coins down here. Um, let's kind of dive our way through. Okay. Um, sometimes there are even ones like leading up. Like we got two more leading up, which is when we jumped. So keep that in mind. Um, this is more like a walkthrough than a let's play at this point. Uh, I guess that's not a bad thing. This is not a crossover anyway, so... I mean, like, who's to say you can't make a Let's Play like a walkthrough and vice versa, I guess. Um, a lot of people do it, so... And that's kind of the style I want, because in general, I kind of like completing games, um, like, as much as I can. So to me, it just seems to... It just felt like the best style to go with, the uh, whole get everything route of Let's Playing, then like 100% Let's Plays, rather than just, you know, um, just collecting some things. The one exception, of course, being Wind Waker, where I only got, like, nothing. Um, again, I hope someday we could be able to go back and get the remaining stuff in Wind Waker, I just have no clue when the heck that would actually be, because I do not have enough time to go piece of heart hunting right now. Um, and frankly, the video link in that LP was like oppressively long in terms of upload times. Like, it would take YouTube forever to process those videos because we were like half an hour. With my internet, that's not good. Um, so having shorter videos is a little bit nice. I did not mean to kill them that way. You're supposed to jump on them. Uh, and here's what. Oh, that was dumb. Ow. Okay, here's why the blue, the yellow coins of uh, Rico Harbor is actually pretty terrible. Um, random coin drops. You'll see in a moment. Hopefully, you'll see. Um, actually, hopefully you won't see, because then it would save me a little bit of time. <laughs> if you don't have to see my point. Um, but the likelihood of this is pretty high. Yeah, that'll happen. <laughs> coins is go the opposite direction than you want them to go, and you just can't really collect them. We're halfway there, so that's not too poorly. Okay, so, ow. That, that was a terrible jump. Uh, well, got these... There actually are coins down there. What am I thinking? Um, what am I thinking? I thought there were coins under there. Um, okay, this is not the time to be falling, Mario. Um, oh, that blue coin doesn't despawn. That's interesting, I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, some blue coins despawn, others do. <laughs> um, probably a list somewhere, which ones are actually time sensitive. Again, we, I, I want to not collect as many blue coins as we can, just to make it easier to remember which ones we already have. So, um... Just carefully collecting just a couple of the coins. That sounds really weird. But okay, I'm gonna try to... Or just completely fail it. <laughs> I guess I'm just not meant to show off that trick, huh? And here's where my memory totally dies of this level. Uh, where are the rest of the... Uh, where can we get 30 more coins? Uh, is actually a question that I myself am wondering. Uh... Thinking, thinking, um, okay, there's some more down there under the helipad, in case, actually there's a legit reason why there are coins in here, uh, it's basically so if you get comboed by the blooper, that you still have a back strat in order to heal, but there aren't actually coins in this one, apparently those coins are only up to 5, I forgot that. A lot of coins over there, but heh, <laughs> having to rock a nozzle to get them is not ideal, um, 
Uh, I almost wonder if it'd be easier to get them enough to two in some ways, because of... No, because Blue Preserving, it'd be hard to actually collect the Shine Sprite. Because where it spawns, because where the blooper is. And by hard, I mean downright impossible. So... Um... There's coins over there. We'll check it out. Can we? Okay, we made it. Uh, it's only about 20... There's only three-fourths of the... Less than three-fourths of the way there. Uh, because that RNG... Okay, now we're three-fourths. Okay, that guy missed us for some reason. Okay, so... Oh, this is a good spot. Unless you just downright miss. Um, oh, man. Again, I think this is the worst blue coins next to Noki Bay. And Noki Bay is pretty hated, so that's actually kind of saying a lot. Um, it's a huge insult. <laughs> just because having to navigate the scaffolding with, like, shaky 3D platforming controls is not exactly the most fun thing in the world. Um, like that. Like we just went onto the other side for some reason. Uh, stay on the platform, Mario. Stay on target. Um, okay, so we need 17 more coins. Uh, stopping and thinking. Okay. Oh, uh, okay, that was smart. Oh, well, we can get four down here at least, so that's something. Um, yeah, for some reason, alternating A and B is actually not that bad of a way to get around. Um, yeah, Noki Bay is where it's going to take like four videos to get all the blue coins. Um, and I, I don't even think that's an exaggeration, based on how I'm playing. <laughs> That'll probably take about four videos. Uh, so the blue coins just fell off, and then the coin disappeared. Lovely. Um, B down, or just miss. Um, cause, yeah, the coin always arcs, and that's, I, I don't understand that at all. Um, the coin's here. You can actually get this without getting the blue coin, but it's a little bit tricky. <laughs> but hey, whatever. That's an easy one to remember, honestly. Um, you know what, I'm, I'm tired of this. We're just gonna do it the slow way. Um, that. <laughs> Yeah, do it seven more times. Uh, but yeah, it's hard to jumping out, harder to jump out of the water than it should be. And that's another problem with this game. And sometimes you rock and also it kind of derps because of the jumping. There are exactly five coins here. Um, yeah, I bet this is fun to watch, huh? But I don't know any other consistent way to actually do it at this point. Because then you just have to rely on blue bar and G, so yeah. <laughs> and without the hover nozzle, we can't fast swim, so take it slow, man. Um, jump. <sighs> and this is the last coin we need, thank goodness. Huh. So I was almost considering doing these outside the main LP, to be honest, just because these take so freaking long. Um, like, just making bonus videos or something. Uh, so I wouldn't have to, you know, make it feel boring. But I do actually want to get to 100% ending, because you do get a different uh, final picture, actually, at the end of the game if you get the. Um, Get every shine sprite, and I actually decided I wanted to show that off in the main video because I didn't actually want to do playing around to get again. Because <laughs> every time you have to beat the game again to get the better ending, I don't really want to fight Bowser that many times to be honest. So, yeah, fast strat there, <laughs> ground pound. Oh, Kidoki, uh, yeah, why not save. Okay, so that's that and that and that. So okay, so I think we're in good shape. So next time on Super Mario Sunshine, we'll be heading into episode eight to collect the remaining uh, stuff in Rico Harbor. 